Uh, welcome to the official IBO press conference after women's pursuit at World Championships in Anhold, Santa Selva. With us, gold medalist Dorothea Wierer of Italy, silver medalist Denise Hermann of Germany, bronze medalist Marta Olsberg Island of Norway. Doro, you said your family is loud. You are born in this valley just a few kilometers away. Did it feel like living room? today for you. It was completely packed and you just take us through the race in the last loop. Um, yes, I'm really happy that I did it today. Of course, it wasn't easy. Uh, the last day it wasn't easy because I didn't felt so good on the skis. Today it was much better and I could feel it from the first meters. Of course, uh, today you had uh, to shoot really good and uh, I was lucky that I just made one mistake. But of course, um, it's different than uh, when you are just training here. Uh, you know a lot of people, uh, it's a lot of pressure. And um, yes, uh, of course, uh, I wanted to do good, but uh, you know, there are so many girls who are really strong. And um, yes, I think I was really lucky today. And you said after the sprint for you, it was important to start in the yellow bib. How much could you count on the experience from last season when you won the pursuit here from similar position? Uh, yes, I was in the same position uh, together with Marte and uh, I was afraid to pushing too much before the shooting range because I knew that it, uh, the last shooting um, it's really important and I think it's also really difficult to shoot here even if it was no win today. But uh, yes, of course, I missed the first one. And uh, then I was just thinking to, to concentrate about my shooting position and not about the result. And uh, I was really lucky that I had just one misses. And um, yes, uh, of course, the last loop, it was really hard because I knew that Denise and Marta, they was together and they will to do all to catch me. <laughs> But uh, when I was in uh, Huber Alm, I knew that uh, I could uh, do it. And it was really emotional, the, uh, the last meters, because it was my uh, whole team was there, and my walksmen and uh, all my families here. So it was it's a really special day for me, yes. And before this championship, you said many times, um, there is life outside biathlon. Even if you don't win gold, the world will not end. But how much did it really mean? How did you prepare? Because you did generate this energy today. Uh, yes, of course, uh, I wanted to do good, but I knew that uh, normally I'm not an athlete who is catching, who are, uh, which are, um, how can I say, uh, who has the best form in the right moment, you know. Uh, I'm not anymore so strong than in the beginning of the season. And um, yes, I just wanted to concentrate about my shooting and I think that was the, the key today. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Uh, Denise, it's only your second world championship. It's third medal. You have full set of medals now, gold, silver, and bronze. Can you just talk about your race and how you felt you fought through the, these five loops? Yeah, my position in front of the race was not so bad. I was in fifth position and I know everything is possible in the Pursuit race. It was uh, nearly the same position than last year and I uh, tried to remember about Östersund last year. And, but uh, last days I felt really good in skiing but the shooting range was not working so well for me and I was really focused today to do uh, what I can, my best. And yeah, after the first shooting, I was a little bit in struggle. Oh no, you start with a mistake. But the position was not bad. I could catch some seconds during the track. Uh, but I was around with fantastic girls and everyone is, or had a good performance also the last days. And but when I came to the last shooting, I saw that uh, yeah, they, they did some mistakes and maybe it's possible. And I tried to be focused that I can stay clean. Uh, also, the last shoot was yeah, not a, a wide target for me and was just uh, going full speed and looking well, how was the position is. And yeah, then I saw that I'm together with Marta and I know she is also really good in skiing and uh, I tried to stay behind her and make a an full attack at the end because I know that I'm really fast at the end and yeah, it was a, a fantastic fight. And how do you really decide for this attack. When do you feel Marte is ready to be overtaken? 
that you're ready to attack? How do you decide? When do you decide? The first, uh, when I went outside, I was looking for Dorothea, but I didn't saw her. <laughs> she was far away. <laughs> and uh, then I uh, know, okay, maybe uh, I have to fight for the silver medal. And I yeah, stayed behind Marta, and I know she is really good in the uphill. And then, yeah, I was thinking about maybe she will do an attack in the, on the long uphill to Huberalm. And I was prepared for this. But um, it was yeah, it was okay for me with the speed, and then I know that I can do my, my plan to uh, make my, the full attack in the last short uh, uphill, and yeah, it was working well for me. And you had really some amazing skiing times. Can you tell us what is it about these tracks that suit your style, and how did you adapt to the altitude here? Yeah, in the last years, or when I was younger, I had a lot of problems in the altitude, but now I know that the big events are in altitude and I have to be uh, yeah, going uh, a lot of times in the summer. And I was also on uh, Christmas time in Davos in the Switzerland, where I'm there a lot of times the last year, and I know that it's working really well for me and it becomes better and better. And yeah, now it, I think it's my best performance ever I had in the altitude, maybe also because I'm older now, <laughs> but I think it's also not the best, uh, not bad that uh, we can stay down in the valley for rest a little bit better and yeah, fill up the, the full energy for the next races. Thank you and congratulations. Uh, Marte, it was such a close competition for most of the part. How did you approach the last standing and did his conditions played any part? Doro said there was no, no wind. No, it was no win. Uh, first of all, it uh, was an amazing race. I was uh, fighting with uh, Dorothea the whole time and uh, she is the home favorite and it was so loud in the track and in the stadium and to be at um, position one in the last shooting, it was an amazing experience and uh, I heard that uh, she had one mistake in the first shot. And I was a bit, uh, maybe thinking a bit about the result as the, uh, wow, if I hit uh, five hits now, I can get a new uh, gold medal. And uh, that was a really stupid thought. <laughs> so uh, I got two mistakes and um, it was a tough last round with uh, Denise. And um, she was behind me and I heard that uh, Hanna Öberg was uh, catching uh, Anna, so I was a bit afraid to get the, the fourth position, so I just tried to, to keep the speed up and uh, when Denise decided to, to go, I, have, I had no chance, but um, after uh, the whole race, I'm so happy about the bronze medal today. And you talked about uh, taking break in the NEC week to prepare better, also physically for Antholz, but what mental switch do you feel you did? from Östersund, where you failed to win medal, yet here you are the only athlete who won medal in all the competitions. Uh, yeah, I learned a lot um, last year uh, and the championship in Östersund. I was um, a bit tired, not physical, but uh, I was a bit tired in my head and the shooting in the, in the competition there was not so good, so um, I I knew that I had to do some changes for this year, and uh, this year I feel much stronger, and um, I'm ready for the next week as well. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. And that was my last question. How much energy, emotional energy, do you have left? It's so intense, medals, competitions, more medals. How do you process all this? <laughs> yeah, it's really intense, but... Uh, we have a rest day tomorrow and I'm uh, going to use that one uh, just to be in my room and uh, do something else than biathlon and um, I hope I'm ready for the 15k um, but uh, yeah, I'm, um, I'm ready and we will see. <laughs> Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Any more questions? Thank you.